Hello my friends, hope you're doing well. So I want to get on here and quickly share a couple of things that the Lord has laid on my heart. One of the things is, you know, on my last video, I came across a lot of people that don't believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. And I find this to be a growing trend. And there is a, a great number of younger people, I would say, who have just come into the faith within the last three to four years uh, who are uh, unbelievers in a pre-tribulation rapture. And, and I, I understand that the rapture is a very complicated topic, I would say. And unless you really study the totality of scriptures as a whole, uh, you're not going to come to the right understanding or the right timing of the rapture. So about three years ago, when the Lord told me very clearly that I am coming soon, there is no more time left. And I came to the Lord with these questions, Lord, uh, if the rapture is real, when is it? And clearly the Lord had already encountered me in a dream where he appeared to me in white, which was my first video. He clearly told me, Many are following rooms, meaning many are following false teachers, but you follow me. And it was a very clear directive to me that I should not be following other teachers or channels or any other avenue, but just to go to the Lord directly and he would teach it to me. And the next day, guess what I did? I unfollowed every single channel that I was subscribed to and I went to the Lord to seek answers. And he was faithful to lead me to the, uh, the right understanding and guide me through the scriptures, one scripture enough after another. And he taught me the truth and he showed me that the rapture is pre-tribulation. Now, another interesting thing the Lord led me to was a dream that a 90-year-old woman in Norway saw this in 19... 68, which is almost 50 years ago now, or more. And she saw the time before the return of Jesus Christ. And, and she saw about four or five different waves. And every single point that she saw, about 90 to 95% of it has come to transpire in the last 50 years and now we see the last part of what she saw transpiring right before our very eyes before the coming of Jesus so I wanted to quickly go ahead and narrate that to you and I also wanted to share another dream the Lord led me to of a 10 year old girl who was shown the rapture happening right before the start of the World War III. Nineteen sixty eight prophecy by a ninety year old woman in Norway. An old woman of ninety from Waldres in Norway had a vision from God in nineteen sixty eight. The evangelist Emmanuel Minos had meeting services where she lived. He had the opportunity to meet her and she told him what she had seen. He wrote it down but thought it was so unintelligible that he put it in a drawer. Now, almost 30 years later, he understands he has to share the vision with others. The woman from Walrus was a very alert, reliable, awake, and credible Christian with a good reputation among all who knew her. This is what she saw. I saw the time just before the coming of Jesus and the outbreak of the Third World War. I saw the events with my natural eyes. I saw the world like a kind of a globe and saw Europe land by land. I saw Scandinavia. I saw Norway. I saw certain things that would take place just before the return of Jesus and just before the last calamity happens. A calamity the likes of which we have never before experienced. She mentioned four waves. First, before Jesus comes and before the third world war breaks out, there will be a detente like we have never had before. There will be peace between the superpowers in the East and the West, and there will be long peace. 
remember that this was in 1968 when the Cold War was in its highest. In this period of peace, there will be a disarmament in many countries, also in Norway, and we're not prepared when, it, when the war comes. The Third World War will begin in a way no one would have anticipated and from an unexpected place. Number two, a lukewarmness without parallel will take hold of the Christians, a falling away from true living Christianity. Christians will no, not be open for penetrating preaching. They will not, like in earlier times, want to hear of sin and grace, law and gospel, repentance and restoration. There will com come a substitute instead, prosperity, happiness, Christianity. The important thing will be to have success, to be something, to have material things, things that God never promised us in this way. Churches and prayer houses will be emptier and emptier. Instead of preaching, we have been used to for generations like take up your cross and follow Jesus. Entertainment, art, and culture will invade the churches where there should have been gatherings for repentance and revival. This will increase markedly just before the return of Jesus. Point number three, there will be a moral disintegration that old Norway has never experienced the likes of which people will live together like they're married without being married. I do not believe the concept of cohabitor existed in 1968. Much uncleanness before marriage and much infidelity in marriage will become the natural, the common, and it will be justified from every angle. It will even Christian it will even enter Christian circles and we pet it, even sin against nature. Just before Jesus returned, there will be TV programs like we have never experienced. TV had just arrived in Norway in 1968. TV will be filled with such horrible violence that it teaches people to murder and destroy each other, and it will be unsafe in our streets. People will copy what they see. They will not be the only one. Uh, th uh, there will not be only one station on TV. It will be filled with stations. She did not know the word channel, which we use today. Therefore, she called them stations. TV will be just like the radio, where we have many stations, and it will be filled with violence People will use it for entertainment. We will see terrible scenes of murder and destruction one uh, of the other, and this will spread in society. Sex scenes will also be shown on the screen, the most intimate thing that takes place in a marriage. I protested and said we have a paragraph that forbids this kind of thing. There the old woman said, it will happen and you will see it. All we have had before will be broken down and the most indecent things will pass before our eyes. Number four, people from poor countries will stream to Europe. In 1968, there was no such thing as immigration. There will also, they will also come to Scandinavia and Norway. There will be so many of them that people will be, begin to dislike them and become hard with them. They will be treated like the Jews before the Second World War. Then the full measure of our sins would have been reached. Uh... The tears streamed from the old woman's eyes down her cheeks. I will not see it, but you will. Then suddenly Jesus will come and the third world war breaks out. It will be a short war. All that I've seen a war is only child's play compared to this one. And it will be ended with a nuclear atom bomb. The air will be so polluted that one cannot draw one's breath. It will cover several continents, America, Japan, Australia and wealthy nations. And the water will be ruined, contaminated. We can no longer till the soil. The result will be that only a remnant will remain. The remnant in the wealthy countries will try to flee to the poor countries, but they will be as hard on us as we were on them. I am so glad that I will not see it, but when the time draws near, you must take courage and tell this. I have received it from God, and nothing of it goes against what the Bible tells. The one who has sin forgiven and has Jesus as Savior and Lord is safe. And now if you want a second supplement to this, uh, you can read the second part right here. The, when the oil flows, an elder in the Pentecostal church in Moss, Norway, Martin Ander, Anderson, heard the following prophecy in 1937 in Moss. When oil comes out of the North Sea and along the Norwegian coast, 
things will begin to happen and the return of Jesus is approaching. When these words had been proclaimed, people stood up in the congregation, asked the man to sit down and not speak such nonsense. In 1937, it was indeed nonsense to talk about oil being pumped along the Norwegian coast. Today, all the world's big oil companies are pumping oil along the coast of Norway. Norway is the world's second greatest exporter of oil after Saudi Arabia. The sum of, a sum of it all is Jesus is coming soon, suddenly. Now, if you know anything about oil being pumped on the coast of Norway, uh, they began pumping oil uh, on its coast in 1971. So yes, that part of the prophecy has also come to pass. Now, if you go back to the uh, uh, the original prophecy of this 19 uh, or 90 year old woman, you see about 95% of it pretty much has come to pass in these last 50 years. The first part, you know, the the long time of peace between World War II and World War III has already come to pass between the superpowers. Now we're seeing the Cold War is going hot and things are gearing up. Number two, the falling away of Christianity. Christians not like being under sound doctrine. Uh, we have prosperity gospel being preached. Uh, we have uh, New Age, New Apostolic Reformation, uh, all kinds of funny stuff that's being preached. And people, just like what it says right here, are not open to uh, sin and grace, law and gospel, repentance and restoration. Now there's even hyper grace that's even being preached. And the, and if you know something about hyper grace, they are against the message of repentance. And I can tell you uh, that Jesus wants us to be preaching repentance right now to the Christians and to the unbelievers, both alike. Now is the time for repentance and renewal. So once the time of uh, grace is up, uh, there won't be a chance of repentance after that. It'll be very hard. It'll be very, very hard for those who are left behind. Uh, God will turn away his ear. Your, your prayers will no longer be heard. If, you're, if you find yourself left behind here, so now is the time to cry out to the Lord and to repent of your sins. Now is the time to go out there and preach the gospel to every living creature. And now is also the time to uh, get on your knees and pray like you've never prayed before. You don't want to be in the situation where prayer houses are getting emptier and emptier. And we see the majority of the big churches are already, their prayer houses are already shut down. And instead of picking up your cross to follow Jesus, you know, they got entertainment, they got arts, they got light shows, they got entertaining music, and many other things are being worshipped except the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and the highest form of worship is through our obedience. And number three has already come to pass, as much of you all know. You know, TV has invaded every single home. They've taught people how to commit sexual immorality, and they've taught people how to be violent. So these things have already come to pass. And, and also there is a lot of infidelity before marriage, within marriage, uh, multiple marriages, uh, a lot of different things. And even Christianity is turning a blind eye to uh, the doctrine of marriage for life. Okay, And I've made videos on this before. And number four, the, that part has also come to pass in the last 10 years. Uh, Muslim immigrants from the Middle East have made their way into Europe and the Western countries, and they are hated there by the, the, by the native uh, people that live there in those countries. And uh, they're despised. So that part has already come to pass in the last 10 years. Now, 
we're seeing the the World War Three take shape uh, just this week. Japan uh, or China and Taiwan. China sent seventy one planes to Taiwan, uh, and and they're kicking off uh, huge tensions between uh, North Korea and South Korea. They've been sending drones and uh, planes and missiles, and, and we all know about the. The, the conflict between Russia and Ukraine and America's involvement with it through the NATO. And now Russia is declaring NATO to be a direct enemy, not just Ukraine, but NATO. So we're seeing all the parts of the World War III coming together. And I'm telling you, this, this clearly is, uh, this, this prophecy is very accurate. Uh, it's pretty much almost at 100% at this point. And the rapture is pre-tribulation. Now, I will share another uh, dream. Uh, I'll share another clip that you can watch. This 10-year-old girl was given uh, a dream from the Lord in 2017 where she saw uh, North Korea, the, the leader, King Jong-un, push the red button and the rapture happening at the exactly at the, simultaneously at the same time, and and, uh, and 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 the nuclear bomb hit America and it took a good portion of it out. And just like it ties in right here into this dream right here, where very few people remained, and the air was polluted, the land was polluted. So just watch this clip. So in Savannah's vision, Savannah, um, the Lord said to her, War is coming. And then Savannah saw a vision of the rapture taking place. Then in this open vision, while she was awake, it was like a screen playing in front of her eyes. She said that Jesus showed her Kim Jong, the North Korea president, press a red button. At the same time, the rapture was taking place. Then she saw a huge nuclear bomb. She said it looked like a huge rocket and it landed in America. Jesus said to Savannah that the rapture will take place first and then the peace will be taken from the earth and there will be a nuclear war on earth after the rapture of the church. Savannah said she saw the whole vision play out in, in her mind like a movie screen and Jesus was explaining to her everything that she was seeing. She said that half of America exploded when the, when the nuclear missile hit America. And then she saw lots of people running everywhere and screaming. And then the vision went straight back to Kim, to North Korea, to Kim Jong. And Kim Jong was laughing in such an evil way. And he said, yes, we did it. And she also saw a huge earthquake taking place at the same time as the rapture and the missile that was hitting America. She said that it was all happening at the same time, simultaneously. She said that people were being raptured at the same time of everything, hap of everything else happening, but that Jesus told her that we will not be here when World War III begins. Then Savannah said she saw the whole world break out in war and she saw bombs exploding all over the world. And, um, and the Lord said, what you are seeing is the beginning of World War III. Just like the young girl said, that Jesus will come before the Third World War to take his church. We're not going to be here. So take encouragement in that. Take comfort in that. That Jesus will not put his bride through the ringer. Yes, we have trials in this life. Yes, we have many tribulations in this life. Jesus himself said, you will have many tribulations in this life. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. But that tribulation is not the same as the great tribulation, which is meant for those who are not his, to test those who belong to this world. So if, if you have never heard the gospel, now is the right time to put your faith and trust in Jesus. So quickly I will share the gospel. Jesus, who is God, came down in the flesh. He came to our sinful, fallen humanity. He was perfect. He lived a perfect 33 and a half years. And He died for your sins. And He was buried 
and he was raised to new life on the third day. Now, if you put your faith and trust on this Jesus and what he has accomplished for you, you can have eternal life. You can walk in the newness of the Spirit of God. I have the steps down in the video uh, in the description box. Please go and check it. And now is the time for you to receive and accept Jesus before time runs out, before uh, the great tribulation comes upon the whole world suddenly. And we are living right at the cusp of it. Uh, I pray that this message blessed you. Take care. See you in the next video or in the air.